Hi Leo, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot and Crystal Reading for May 2018. This month I decided to change it up a bit and I'm looking into three cards from the Hanson Roberts Tarot Deck and the Crystal to give you predictions and messages for May 2018. I'm still doing the crystal readings for Vimeo for each sign of the zodiac as well. And remember, these are general readings, and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Leo Sun, Leo Ascendant, and Leo Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Leo, now on to your psychic tarot and crystal reading for May 2018. First card you have, Leo, is the Queen of Cups. And this is a water sign female, a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. Could be you. Leo, if your rising or moon sign is a water sign, could be someone else. She believes in something she's doing. She's getting very deeply involved in excavating a lot of facts. So to me, she's somebody that is either doing research, detective work, analysis uh, of something. And you're connected to this queen, whether it's a male or female queen, uh, you're connected to them somehow. They may be trying your patience. They may keep asking you for asking you for things or abusing privilege or power in some way to get an advantage over other people. Because um, these people, these queen, these uh, court cards mean many different people. Because there's a lot of Leos watching, so. Um, I feel for the most part you're going to feel like this Queen of Cups is a little difficult for you to contend with in May 2018. It's like they're researching, they're analyzing, they're thinking they figured out the answers. And they may want to keep you in the dark about something. They like you not knowing something that's going on with them. Now what is that going to be, Leo? I don't know because it's a general reading after all. So you have to figure out like I don't know if they're keeping it from you you might not know it but your intuition might be telling you what it is they've got all these wishes and dreams and hopes and and even fears and there's things they really want to see happen and um, for some of you this could be your daughter or son um, they're whimsical creative talented in art um, they're going to throw something away if they're not careful for some of you I feel concerned that this might be someone you're connected to that has an addiction problem uh, could be multiple things drugs alcohol you know I don't know it could be gambling even I don't I don't know but uh, some of you um, they've got so much potential and talent that they're going down a wrong path and if you don't intervene step in get involved try to help them out they could make a huge mistake so but that's not going to be the case for all of you for some of you this queen of cups is somebody totally different but they did mention that here so somebody watching was supposed to hear that message some of you may find out that this queen of cups is prone to bisexuality and that may, like, maybe you didn't know that or there's some surprise. I don't, I don't know what your reaction is going to be, uh, but that could be one of the things you also hear in the mix of other things that's going on. That's not, that's like an aside thing. Their issues that they're experiencing are, um, I feel like drug related or alcohol related or some kind of, they may make some like really drastic decision and uh, that decision may be not their right path. I feel like they're veering from their path. 
So if you can guide them or know somebody that can guide them, that might be helpful. You've got the seven of rods next, kind of makes sense. This is uh, negative energy coming at you or communications that you're either closing the door on it or you're keeping it uh, at bay at a, di at a distance from you. Um, I do see some of you having some real heartfelt talks with someone in May, and it could be this Queen of Cups. Could even be another person too, but Queen of Cups looks like it's going there. I feel like they're feeling defiant. Their retaliation is strong right now, so their will is really kicking up. Whoever you're dealing with, I see this whimsical, creative, intelligent, uh, artistic, could draw amazing paintings or play amazing music, but it's like they're being distracted by something that's negative. Uh, and they're kind of like throwing away, they need to get clear, I feel. Some of you are going to have to stomp your feet and get really mad and tell somebody they need to quit doing something. Again, it could be the Queen of Cups, but it could be somebody else. It could be at a job, it could be uh, maybe if you have multiple children, there's one in particular, you really, I don't know, or... I'm not sure where you're directing it, but I see you stomping your feet and saying, no, you're putting your foot down about something. You're going to have some hard time communicating with some family member. Um, some of you, it's a brother. Some of you, it's a sister. But, it, but it's general reading. There's, but it's a family person, and you're having uh, words with them. You're not agreeing with them about something. And I feel like they're being kind of like cocky, smart assy. Uh, and some of you it is this queen, some of you it's not. Uh, because I see, I, I really see a guy there doing that particular activity right there. But it could be male or female. A guy with dark hair. That's what it looks like to me. But, you know, this is a general reading, so it's, it's a symbol. Let's put it that way anyway. Uh, yeah, I get angry words. You may feel like they were talking about you and saying negative things about you and you found out about it, or vice versa. Maybe they're accusing you that you were doing it, or both. Think about that, but that's that comes up here for some of you in May with a family member. Oh my gosh, look what you have here. I didn't even notice it was the Page of Cups. You've got the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups here. So these two cards, these could be the same person, and this could really be strongly indicating like, hey, this is your kid or somebody younger than you, or they're acting immature at this time. But, it, you know, it could be an adult, could be a child or an immature adult. Uh, but I get that sense. This might be something coming up with this to do with this Queen of Cups, and this would be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun sign, Rising sign, or Moon sign. Could even be you, as I said, with the... If you have a water sign, rising, or moon sign. Somebody in, in your life, Leo, there's somebody in your life that's drinking too heavily. Drinking, drinking too heavily. Could be you, could be this Queen of Cups, could be somebody else. But there's somebody. And I feel this person in your life is not speaking the truth a lot. They're telling lies about something. And it's like... They're lying because they can't cope with what's happening to them. Either it's a personal issue with a relationship that's upsetting them, or maybe it's drugs or alcohol, which did come up here about drinking. Uh, through this card, here, this card seemed like it could be either drugs or alcohol. This card, I'm hearing drinking. For some of you, this may be somebody that doesn't feel like they belong where they are and they want to go home. For some of you because I feel this page of cups person is very likely the same as the queen of cups person and they've been very much taken advantage of they've had a hard time of it people have lied to them cheated on them or or cheated on them or cheated them somehow uh, and multiple things have happened to them and some real betrayals and people like doing major huge karmic disappointment feelings for the page. So they're substance abusing. 
and most of them it's alcohol or both combination and they can't cope with what is happening to them they should go to a rehab or have some kind of therapy or counseling immediately even though like sometimes I feel I don't like to say my opinion too much but like this um, I feel therapy can work but it's a tricky thing and so I feel sometimes it's absolutely necessary but you have to find the one that's right for you doesn't mean just because you go to one it's gonna work uh, because sometimes they actually I've seen therapists screw things up for people and I'm not criticizing therapists I'm saying I've seen it um, and had it happen with myself so um, sometimes it's almost better to go the spiritual route which is kind of weird and I'm editorializing here so I apologize I, I feel that for some of you this page of cups is ex has suffered an extreme breakup recently and maybe they were intertwined with you and you guys broke up but that's not the feeling I'm getting first the first feeling here is you're they're connected to you you know them and you care about them and they're having all these troubles but they're not your partner but there is some of you that this could be somebody you've broken up with so I'm going to look into the crystal and see what comes up here for you for May 2018 I feel like you're going to look very uh, classic beauty elegance charm you're going to be exuding all these things Leo and a lot of it has to do with the way you're carrying yourself your hair how you're dressing some of you people out there may say she's nuts I'm not changing anything well even if you don't change your clothes or your hair it's the air about with which you're can you, you know you're presenting yourself even it's like your aura your air if you sold a business to somebody in the past somebody wants to buy that business back from you um, like or you may want to buy it back from them they may somebody may want to buy one back from you it, it, that can go either way that's with a business you may own there's some big success or smashing hit that you're going to make in a positive way in your career and it is coming up in May but I feel for many of you this is going even out as far as July May June July some of you Leos uh, you may know some Leos Leo or you yourself may be going in for minor surgery that could have anything to do with eyes vision could be Lasix or something else cataract surgery or Lasix but it could also be um, anything to do with veins and arteries not necessarily at your heart could be veins you know or I, I don't know it's not going to be the case for all of you but it is being mentioned here so I gotta say it I feel like there is somebody in your family Leo that you are trying to help them out because they're really hitting rock bottom or feeling very down and depressed and how that plays out for you it's going to be different for all of you and family can even be people you're not related to but you're very close to them and they see feel like family to you so <laughs> the guides are saying you're upgrading with your love life so if you were dating someone and you're like yeah you you're upgrading it if you were uh, in a love relationship and it was like mm, it's going along okay it may be upgrading and stepping up it, it can mean a couple different things there some of you are going to receive a very lovely present or gift and this is going to come from somebody that loves you and is in appreciation of you now for some of you I see it being romantically given to you by like your love mate but for some of you it could even be from one of your children or a parent gives it to you I don't know but I see you looking loved and appreciated and somebody giving you some kind of gift in May so I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense I want to thank you so much for watching sharing and liking my videos thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing I do truly appreciate that 
and please remember to subscribe that way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube and if you're interested in getting the psychic crystal reading for May 2018 for your sign for download and purchase you can access these videos by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for those May 2018 psychic crystal readings you can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com click on the videos tab on my menu and it will be the first set of videos listed at the top of that page you just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo also you if you're interested you can get the special videos I recorded for looking into career and finances psychic tarot and crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac to cover a 12 to 18 month period starting in April of 2018 and going till at least April of 2019 where I pulled three cards for your career area of life from the Robin Wood tarot deck and three cards from the Cat Black uh, Golden Tarot deck for your financial area and then I looked into the crystal for what are the challenges and blessings first for your career and then for your financial area they're pretty detailed readings and they are 20 minutes long you can access those by clicking on the other link below this video and you can also access them on my website video page which would be the second set of videos listed you just look for that uh, that heading career and finance psychic tarot and crystal reading for each sign of the zodiac for April 2018 up till and beyond April of 2019 readings you just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo also I'd like to tell you if you are looking for an awesome astrologer that can really even predict some things or give you cautions and warnings about what's coming up and really give you some awesome details I highly recommend you check out Lisa at Lionheart Astrology that's her business name and you can find her at www.lionheartastrology.com and her links are listed below for her email her Instagram and her website in the show more section beneath this video if you are looking for a great astrologer you cannot go wrong here so I highly recommend that you check her out so I hope you all have a fantastic month of May and know that I wish you many blessings and peace